Yaz is probably the world's most popular oral contraceptive. And what we found is that though it's no more effective than any other contraceptive, it's more dangerous. As a result of taking Yaz or Yasmin, women have suffered serious blood clots and strokes, sometimes fatal. All birth control pills carry the risk of blood clots. The problem is that Yaz carries a greater risk than other oral contraceptives, yet is no more effective than any other pill. Bayer has overstated the benefits and understated the risks, and as a result, thousands of women have been needlessly injured. I think it's reasonable to say that most women, if given a choice between a pill that can prevent pregnancy and bears a certain risk, and another pill that can prevent pregnancy but has a two to three times higher risk, most women are going to pick the pill with the least risk associated with it. Doctors were misled as to what the risks of Yaz were. Doctors were told that the drug was better than other oral contraceptives and no more risky. Both of those things were untrue. So when the manufacturers fail to disclose increased risks in Yaz and Yasmin to the prescribing doctors, they were deceiving them just as badly as they were deceiving the patients and the consumers. A lot of the women that we speak to have very close relationships with their doctors. And they're concerned that their doctors are going to get in trouble for prescribing Yaz, or that the doctors may even get sued. And I can tell you, we don't sue the doctors who prescribed Yaz. They're basically in your shoes. That is, they didn't have the information either. In the Yaz litigation, the court appointed me to be one of the attorneys on the plaintiff's steering committee, which is the small group of attorneys who are charged with the job of directing the litigation. Even though the Yaz and Yasmin cases have been proceeding for about two and a half years, it is not too late for a woman who has taken Yaz or Yasmin and been injured to join the litigation and file a lawsuit. Now's a good time to get involved with the Yaz cases because we've done a tremendous amount of work over the past two years and have learned an awful lot about Yaz and about what Bear did. If a woman has taken Yaz or Yasmin and been injured, she should not hesitate to join this litigation out of concerns for time or money. It costs the client nothing to get involved in a personal injury case. We pay all the court costs, all the expenses, and for all of the experts that are needed to prepare a case for trial. We aren't paid unless and until we recover for her. And as for time, we minimize the invasion into their busy lives and obtain the information as efficiently as possible from them. It's not too late to bring a Yaz case now. In fact, now is a very good time, if you've been injured by Yaz, to get involved.